if it's real But when I'm with you I feel A little closer to heaven And yes, you move me that much And I get from your touch A little closer to heaven Right, okay. This reading is for Dale. Yes. Love this question because with this question I'm getting a real understanding of feeling of your journey and it's really nice. So the question is, I am currently travelling in Vietnam and have been away from home for six months. I'd like to know if I'm on the right track in life. Was this the right decision for me? So. What I'm feeling about this is, you know, and of course, there are no wrong decisions ultimately because everything is leading us back to love. We are on our way back to love no matter what and we learn and grow from everything. Obviously, you know, there are some decisions that are not desirable and unwise and, you know, kind of um, unethical or whatever, but uh, within these choices that you make that, you know, should I do this thing that will enrich my soul or that thing that will enrich my soul and my guides have said and expand my consciousness those choices you know it's all pretty much of a muchness you're going to end up in the same place in the right place anyway and I feel a big yes because I feel with this that it's really opened your heart it's brought in you brought out in you a new gentleness and humility. That isn't to say that you didn't have those qualities before, but it's brought in you a new understanding of what's possible for humanity somehow. I feel that your compassion is growing. Um, let's just start the timer. I feel that your ability to connect with people on a deeper level is growing. I'm seeing an image of you bending down in the street and giving something to a child. and. Um, but it just feels like a soul connection. So I feel, I don't know whether you work with children or whether you've done any teaching or, or anything like that, but I feel you have a really nice influence on children. And, um, and this is, you know, wherever you go, there's a, there's a softness about you that wasn't there before, you know, and um, don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying that you were harsh and abrasive before, but there, it's brought, the traveling has brought something out in you. And, even in your most conflicted or confused moments about it or the days when it's not going so great you are still expanding and growing as a consciousness as a human and as a humanitarian i've just heard so i don't know what you're doing out there but it just feels like a really good vibration for you take heart and keep the faith is what i've just heard the number that i was given for you was um and uh, am I on the right track? My guys just said to me, she's also asked you, am I on the right track? Yes, you're on the right track. You are here living and breathing and experiencing and expanding and growing. Yes, you're on the right track. Welcome to life on earth as a fifth dimensional being. That's great. Thank God for your adventurous spirit because you'll look back on this and you will understand. And I know this is a long time and I don't like it when they give me these time periods, but I have to say what I'm being given. You'll look back on this 10 years from now when you have established something of note and you will see it as having been pivotal in your understanding of yourself and what really motivates and moves and inspires you at a very deep level. OK, you were born to be a traveller as well. So, you know, even when you come back, I feel there'll be other adventures waiting for you. But that's all I'm going to say. And, you know, I don't want to go too far ahead because you have free will. It's your free will choice. All of these things are. I just feel there's a lot of movement in your life um, to come. And, um, and it's a joyous thing. I'm just seeing a huge moon and I feel and I'm hearing barley I feel like there are exotic places waiting for you and you know apologies if anyone's offended by the word exotic what I mean by that is there are places you know you are wanting to explore the world and it has to be a good thing I feel like you'll go to places where the moon will seem very close and where you, there will be different sights and experiences and things you know it's an experiential lifetime for you very much so and allowing that 
experience to colour and change your reality and your consciousness and ultimately what you're able to offer and the range of people that you're able to offer it to. I feel you've broken out of a very restrictive culture consciousness, if you like, into an expansive consciousness where you want to embrace the whole world. That's what that feels like. And that's why you were born into your particular circumstances and grew up seeing the things that you saw. So that you would be spurred on to find out more for yourself. And bless you for doing it. Great. Okay, so the card, the number that I was given, the message rather, was number 82. And it's get happy. A day to remember that happiness is a choice and not a set of conditions. Again, these were written as daily messages, but they do apply for, you know, whatever the time is. So it's a time to remember that happiness is a choice and not a set of conditions. So every time you wake up, every day that you wake up, just give thanks for everything around you. Just give thanks for the blessing that it is to be able to just go from one part of the world to another and experience incredible things, different things, mind expanding things. Um, what would you do right now if you made the decision to be happy? Go dancing, take a bold first step, call a fun friend, smile and laugh more, hug and kiss instead of arguing or point scoring. Life is accelerating and the pace of time is insisting that you allow a touch of happiness to make all of your moments precious ones. Whatever it takes today, get happy. So they're basically saying, you know, yeah, all our moments are transitory. You know, everything, this too shall pass when it's tricky, when it's challenging, when you wonder what the heck you're doing. It's transitory. There are other experiences waiting for you and this experience is paving the way to those. It's, it's making you stronger. It's making you clearer about what you really want. And in fact, I do feel that there have been some wonderful moments in this. Moments that you could not have found any other way. Moments that you will treasure for ever for a lifetime. I see an album being opened up and I see photographs and memories and I know that's not how we do things anymore so take it as a metaphor if you like but I do feel you're collecting mementos and experiences and photographs or whatever of this trip that you will show later on and you'll enjoy showing and remembering. Okay let's just have a quick look at some cards for you guides. Where are we going? Archangels, they're saying. Okay, so let's just pick a quick past, present and future for you and find out why you're asking this question and what's there for you in the future. They've just said stop. This is what's brought you here. This is where you are. And these are the main influences for you. Okay, what's brought you to this place of questioning? Clairvoyance. Okay, so you are opening up spiritually. You are beginning to see more. Um, so you're not just seeing more of the world, you're seeing more of the worlds, they're saying. So <laughs> seeing more of many other dimensions. And I feel a lot of this input is coming to you through your dreams. I also feel like you're traveling in your dreams. So there's something of a kind of, you know, astral plane nature going on there. Um, most of all, you've got, okay, so the cards, Archangel Raziel, who's great at opening up those secrets, and you are wanting to understand more of those secrets now. There is no doubt about it, and I feel over the last six months or so, this has been becoming stronger for you, wondering where it all fits in. They're saying, don't try to make it all fit in yet. Just keep collecting experiences and knowledge and awareness and keep waking up, as it were. Archangel Raziel, the card says, I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. So this is going to be a part of your life, definitely. There, but there's, you know, we're all here with a unique gift and with a unique mission. And for some, it will involve, you know, this, our spiritual dimensions and our ability to connect. For some, it will mean, it will involve healing. For some, it will involve divine and inspired creativity for some it will mean teaching for some it will mean teaching in a school but with that insightful view you know there there are light workers there who have brought meditations into school meditation and mindfulness into schools that you know we are everywhere creating change and for you travel seems to be a really important part of your gift so just keep collecting information and keep you know allowing what you see and sense to 
move you forward and to help you to evolve. It's time for you to evolve more. And yes, that is what's brought you to this place of questioning. But that doesn't mean that what you're doing is wrong. Just trust the wisdom of everything. Where are you now? Breathe, Archangel Raphael's card. Um, take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy to release old patterns. So, what old patterns are we talking about, guys? What are we talking about? Self-doubt, self-judgment, criticism, holding on to the past where things didn't work out and you thought, you know, who am I, what am I, who am I kidding? I've just heard, who am I kidding? That seems to be one of your really, really harsh self-judgments. Who am I kidding? What, you know, what was I thinking? That sort of thing. Breathe, expand, enjoy where you are. Appreciate your ability to be anywhere on this planet at any time, almost. I know that's stretching the point, but that's actually the truth of it in consciousness. Use your mind, use your imagination to be wherever you choose to be and to choose and create your next adventure. And be here in the moment, breathing, and experiencing because this too shall pass in a flash and you'll be looking back on it with great fondness so enjoy it now okay release old patterns of self-judgment and stop second guessing yourself about whether it was right or wrong just see it for what it is right now moving into the future moon cycles right okay archangel honey i'll notice how the moon affects your energy <laughs> right okay what i said about the moon <laughs> i love it because you are going on to other places. I know that's not technically the literal interpretation of this card, but because the moon, they showed me the moon really big and bright and beautiful in another location where it's like it's literally there in front of your face. You are going to see incredible things in your lifetime. Trust yourself. Yes, you're on the right track. Yes, it's great. Yes, you've got the travel bug. Just go with it. OK, take a break. Come back, you know, um, re-establish your connection with those you love and with with what you what feels comfortable but know that that's not where you're going you're not going to settle um and uh, notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestations and capitalize on these cycles so you know i'm not even going to look at that literal meaning just in this reading because the context that it came up in just tells me that it's about confirming what was said before however you know yes use those cycles so for example when you're wanting to let go of those old beliefs and move into a different kind of consciousness maybe at the full moon you could think about what is it where do i limit myself where do i question and criticize myself okay and coming up to the next new moon you could be thinking right what makes me really excited what do i really feel excited about doing next I don't feel your destiny is complete where you are just yet. I feel there's more for you to give to that situation and that energy. But that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. Take care. Bye. I don't know if it's real, but when I'm with you I feel a little closer to heaven. And yes, you move me that much, and I get from your touch a little closer to heaven.